in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You've done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I had ten thousand times, it still wouldn't be enough. For our good night message on this Thursday, the 30th of June 2022, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this gratitude message entitled, How to Show Gratitude to God in Our Lives. What shall I, what shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. We have come to the end of the sixth month of the year of the Lord, 2022. It means we have finished half of the year and we are going in the second half of the year. And we are here to say thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. But very often we find it hard to show our gratitude to God. And sometimes we just don't know what is involved in showing gratitude. Psalm 95 verse 6 says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. It is a way of awakening gratitude. A quick step to a thankful heart is to spend a few minutes worshipping God. And I hope as you thank the Lord for the half time in 2022, you will spend some minutes in worship. Open your Bible and read aloud a favorite psalm. Philippians chapter 2 or any favorite passage. Sing a classic hymn. Thank God for evidence of his presence. Another idea is taking up your journal and putting down the things that you have experienced in this year up to this time that you think have helped you to grow and have helped you to come to know God more and more. Hebrews chapter 10 Verse 23 tells us, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. There is nothing like an election cycle to bring out our inner skeptic. Psalm 50 verse 23 tells us, The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. When praying, are you better at saying please or thank you? Ponder that question for a few moments. Do you find yourself praying, God, please? Or do you start your prayers with praise? In my experience, it is easier to ask God for something than to give thanks. Maybe it's because the please seems more urgent than the thank you. You might ask him for a clear cancer scan, relief from anxiety, provision for financial needs, help with a winning toddler, or strength to get through a demanding day. He wants to hear our requests. But let's praise as we petition. Make it a point to have thanksgiving on your lips as often as you raise requests to God. Not only is gratitude glorifying to God, it also reminds you of his faithfulness in the past and lightens your burdened heart, saying, thank you, recalls what you have already been given. Be faithful to say please, but be especially skilled at saying thank you. Father, thank you for always hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Oh, oh.